Hey everybody, it's Eddie here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over three pros and three cons that you need to know about the Crypto.com Visa card. I'm going to go over some details, everything that you need to know, so if that sounds interesting, definitely stick around. If you are interested in signing up, I do have a referral link down below. If you do use my code, you do get a $25 bonus. If you've used my code in the past, thank you guys so much. And I do have a dedicated Crypto.com playlist where you can learn more about the Crypto.com Visa card, the app, the platform. I'll leave that link down below if you guys are interested in learning. But other than that, let's begin. Now, I do have the Indigo Blue card, so I'll be sharing my experience using this card, using these benefits. If you have the Jade Green, it will also be the same. I'll be going over the three pros first, then I'll go over the three cons. Pro number one is the cashback benefits on these cards. In order to receive and use their cards, you do have to stake their native CRO token. And when you do that, you do get interest back. So for me, I get an average of 10 to $13 every single month. You do get reimbursement on your Spotify and your Netflix subscription, which is around $24 a month. So every single month, I do get around $37 cash back. Now, every time I use this card, whether I buy coffee with it, groceries with it, whether I pay for certain things with it, I do get a 3% cash back. So that has been really awesome. I actually don't know any other debit cards that give cash back rewards. I don't think they do. Even credit cards, right? On average, you get around 1.5% to 2%. But 3%, 3% cashback on this card has been a really nice benefit and feature of this card. Pro number two is that you can top up your crypto.com visa card with crypto. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like spending their crypto. I understand that. But for me, with crypto.com, it always has been nice to have that option to be able to take profits on my investments, load that profit up into my crypto.com visa card and spend it. And every time I spend it, I also get a 3% cash back. You can top it up with Bitcoin, stable coins, or the altcoin options that they have available. And personally for myself, I've had experiences where the market would be up. I would sell some of my Bitcoin, purchase a meal with it. And then when the market dipped, I would actually just buy more Bitcoin. Pro number three is that you do get a higher staking reward. Now I've created a ton of videos about staking and earning interest on your crypto. Definitely check the crypto.com playlist. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. But there is a difference in terms of percentage rates when you do own the indigo blue or jade green versus the ruby red or none. Right now, I am on the crypto.com website. You can go under the earn tab. But if you go to the zero stake, 400 or less, which is going to be the ruby red, you'll get 4.5% on your Bitcoin, 5.5% on your Ethereum. And then you'll see an average of like 2% throughout majority of all coins except Polkadot, you'll get 10%. Now, if you stake 4,000 or more, which is going to be the indigo blue or jade green or above, you get at 6.5%, which is two more percent. Ethereum, you get 6.5. And in Polkadot, you get 12.5%. Right now, I am staking and earning interest on some of my crypto. You can see that I earn 6.5% on my Ethereum, 12.5% on my Polkadot, 6.5% on my Bitcoin. If I go ahead and click on Polkadot, this has been really, really nice. Every single week, I do get around one Polkadot, which has been really nice. And for my Ethereum, I do get 6.5%. How much is that per week? That is going to be an average of $18 every single week. And for stable coins, you would get 12% versus 10%. So with the amount that I have staked, I do earn around $65 every single week. And with that, I can either top up my card and use it, or I can just hold on to it as an investment and keep growing it. All right, now that we've gone over the pros, let's go over the cons. Con number one, it's expensive. If you go to their website and look at their tiers and the cards that they offer, the Midnight Blue is free, but you only get a 1% cashback reward, which isn't, I mean, it's still a benefit, but it's not a great one. Now, the next card is their most popular one, which is the Ruby Steel. You have to stake $400 worth of their CRO token. You get 2% cashback and you get a full reimbursement on your Spotify. Now, $400 for the Ruby Steel is expensive, but it's still doable for some people. The next tier over is where it gets a little bit pricey. The Indigo Blue, the Jade Green is $4,000, right? The benefits are great, but the cost, it's still pretty up there. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're purchasing these cards, you are investing into their CRO token. So it's not like your $4,000 is 
done and gone, right? It's still invested. And later on, if you want to unstake it, you can take your zero token investment back and put it back into your bank. Let me use my account as an example. At the time of when I got this card, the requirement was to stake 10,000 CRO. At the time, one CRO token was around 18 cents. So I paid around $1,800 for this card. But what I was actually doing was buying their CRO token and having it invested. Right now, my 10,000 CRO token is worth around $1,500. I personally don't plan on unstaking my 10,000 CRO anytime. I'm gonna probably keep it in there forever. Uh, but you can unstake your CRO token anytime you want. So I can click on unstake 10,000 CRO, and then I can either choose keep staking or I'm sure unstake. When I unstake my 10,000 CRO tokens, the 1485.44 will be unstaked or unlocked and I can sell my CRO tokens and put that back into my bank. Of course, if I did that now, I'd be selling at a loss, but I can do that later on in the future when I'm massively in profit when one CRO token is like at $1, that would be nice. If you have the Midnight Blue and you wanna upgrade to the Ruby Steel, or if you have the Ruby Steel and you wanna upgrade to the Indigo Blue or the Jade Green, you can click on the upgrade button and from here, you can select which one you want to upgrade to. Of course, $40,000, $400,000 is a lot, unless it's not for you, right? If that's for you, for sure, do that, right? But if I want to upgrade my card, I would click on 40,000, continue stake, and then I would have to deposit the appropriate amount of CR tokens and stake it. Now, a common question that I received a lot is, hey, Eddie, I just got the Ruby Steel. It's $400. Do I have to maintain that $400 value in order to keep my card? And the answer is no. The moment you invest into their card, that rate is locked in. So if the zero value drops, and say your $400 is now worth 350. You don't have to add another $50 to maintain the benefits of your card. You just keep as is, keep it there forever. Like I invested $1,800 for this card. If the value of the zero token drops and now it's valued at like $800, I really don't mind at all because I can still enjoy the 3% cash back. I'll get Spotify, Netflix reimbursement, and I get to enjoy the high reward rates of the staking and earn program. Con number two, you cannot reverse top up, meaning that once you've topped up your Visa card, there's no way to reverse that transaction. So I've had some questions come up where like, hey, Eddie, I just put in $1,000 into my crypto.com Visa card. Is there any way that I can put that back into my fiat wallet, into my crypto.com account? and then purchase crypto with it. And unfortunately, the answer is no. I wish there was a feature for this, but once you've loaded up your card, the only way to pull it out is either go to an ATM machine, withdraw cash, or spend it. But crypto.com, if you're watching this, I hope and pray and ask that there will be a way for people to be able to move their funds from their crypto.com visa card back into their fiat wallet so they can either spend it, invest it, whatnot. So if you do plan on topping up your visa card, make sure to think twice, make sure it's an amount that you're comfortable with and an amount that you plan on spending in the near future. Con number three is that it does not affect your credit score. Now this third con is not really a con, it may not matter for most of you, but it may matter for some of you. As you know, the crypto.com visa card is a debit card right and so no matter how much you spend it your credit score will not be affected if you're in a season where you need to build up your credit score then using this card may not be the best route short term but if you don't really care too much about your credit score and you're only using your credit cards to receive points and cashback rewards then mind as well use the crypto.com visa card. When I get cash back using my other credit cards, my normal tendency is to move it back to my bank or pay off my credit card or spend it, right? But if you receive cash back in the form of crypto, you're more likely to invest it and hold it long term and save it versus spend it. So if you're trying to take advantage of the cash back and you're spending a lot of money as much as possible because you have to, but you need to build up your credit score, using this card may not be the best choice short term. Three things I do want to note about this card before I end this video. Number one, it is contactless payment. So for those of you th that do care about just being able to tap your card when you do make payments, you do have that option. Number two, it is extremely well built. It is a metal, full metal Visa card. Uh, it's probably my favorite built card in my wallet at the moment. It does have a really nice shine to it and uh, it just feels really nice overall in the hand. 
And third of all, there is no monthly service. And so if you're worried about monthly payments or service fees, none of that on this card. Well, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you do own a crypto.com visa card, let me know how your experience has been in the comment section down below. If you guys are interested in signing up or joining the Patreon group, I'll leave that link down below as well. And definitely check out the crypto.com playlist link down below. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video over. Good night, good morning. Adios.